And now for the breaking news. First, let me throw in some quick shorts and then I will get to you at short XRP. My number is 2444, a quarter million dollar on cross, short Litecoin. That's how you short, it's the red button people, just so you know. Why would I be shorting all of these currencies like this now? Well, we've gone up a lot for the, over the last few days for no real reason. Okay, and breaking news. Where is Solana? There it is. Can't not short Solana. We'll get back to all of these later. Let's get to the news. As you know, I have multiple channels and endless impersonators. So only click the links under my videos. Oracle Fast Money Trader. Let's go back to six days ago. What if Tesla sells Bitcoin? What if Tesla sells their Bitcoin? Well, they came out with earnings today. Sure enough, Elon Musk was smiling to your face and dumping Bitcoin. Okay? Dumping Bitcoin. The cryptocurrency sale was to maximize its cash position. Dumping Bitcoin. Now, I'll tell you, I have no problem with this. Okay? Because... They used Bitcoin like it should be used. Okay, why is there a pair of boobs here? Like it should be used. Bitcoin should be used as a tool to make money, a vehicle to make money. It goes up and down. You short it. Okay, you do whatever you have to do. Watch, all my trades will come in. What did Tesla do? Well, they used, they bought it. Here's the funny part of this. You see, they're required by law, okay, to tell us when they sell or buy, okay? Now, they only tell us at times of earnings. Why? To be honest with you, Elon Musk is a scumbag. And I'm sorry if you're in love with him and you idolize him and his stupid toy cause. He's a scumbag, okay? He bought Bitcoin, didn't tell anybody. Shh. Start buying a little bit, a little bit. Price started running up, buying, buying, buying. And then when he's required to by the SEC, it comes out. And then he's like, oh, yeah, we happen to buy a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. And then all of you schmucks piled in and bought Bitcoin after the fact, after he bought, thinking that he is buying. And what happened? Went up to fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000. And then this sneaky bastard... He's always on Twitter and everything else, right? He's always on Twitter and everything else. Why can't he happen to mention, hey, I'm going to sell my crypto, get ready? No. Instead, the price has been tanking for weeks and weeks and weeks, okay? People have gotten destroyed and douchebag Elon Musk is smiling to all your faces and not saying anything. What a nice guy. This piece of shit making cars that are made out of spyware that even watch your eyeballs so that if you get into an accident, they can find a way to say it's your fucking fault. So every time I pull up to a Tesla in my brand new Lamborghini, I look over and say, you fucking douchebag. That's what I say. That's what I really feel. Tesla's second quarter profit fell 32% from record levels in the first quarter. Fell 32%. And Douche Musk said he had a super bad feeling about the economy and the company needed to lay off 10% of his workers. Do you want to know about Twitter? Do you know why he made this deal with Twitter, you bunch of stupid people? It's the same thesis as magic. Okay? Keep your eyeballs occupied here on this hand while my other hand is reaching in your pocket screwing you. You know, I used to trade options, and I have a channel called War, War on Wall Street. And I, a year ago, I was finding holes and opportunities to short these piece of shit, ugly egg cars. Okay? I was going to change my, my channel to Shorting Tesla Daily. Okay? Because I would beat the piss out of this, because this guy is the modern day David Peterson. If you don't know who David Peterson is, you haven't been in crypto long enough, okay? Now, this whole thing with Twitter, why would he bring this up? Think about it, you stupid people, you sheep. I, what, are your skinny jeans too fucking tight? 
or the AirPod pods too fucking pushed into your ears that you don't see, that you're fucking blind. Let me explain to you as all my trades come into fucking wins. This is how you make money in crypto. Let me explain to you what Elon did. Okay. Elon created this whole thing with Twitter. And look, he can't sell any of his shares because people hit the stock will dump. Just like Bitcoin and all the cryptos may dump now, as all his dumb fucking cronies, okay, follow him and dump Bitcoin. And all cryptos will follow. You notice that I just placed all of these? Hold on, this was a little guy account. Now we're in my big guy account. You can see we're rocking out. But did I take a picture? Yeah, these screenshots were for a little guy account I was doing to show how a guy with two grand could fucking make hits. Okay? And then now, we're playing for real. Okay? We're playing for real. We got a screenshot of this. So let me tell you what he did. Okay? By the way, if you ever want to learn how to trade like this, all right, I can show you how to do it. It's really easy. Okay, look. And then when you want the money, you go like this. Said 36%, that's mine. Okay, watch. Yeah, congratulate me. Hey, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. See that 52%? That's mine. Okay? Oh, you see that 3% over there? That's mine. Oh, 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 I messed one up. See, it moves fast. So you got to wait till it comes back around. Let's see how Bitcoin is doing. Oh, tanking. Now, let's talk about Twitter and the $1 billion situation. Okay. He needed to sell. He needed money. Okay, you don't understand. He's the richest man in the world, but in order not to pay taxes, he don't take income. He borrows against his shares. See, he don't even pay taxes. Can you fucking believe that shit? Okay, how funny that is. But he wanted to unload some of the Tesla at the top. How could he do this without looking like a bad guy? The Twitter deal. The Twitter deal allowed him to sell $8 billion worth of stock. And like a true god amongst mere mortals was doing it for an altruistic reason. An altruistic reason. What is that? Oh, for free speech. I'm going to buy Twitter. So I want you to think about this. He's there, there was a penalty in there that if somebody didn't go through with the contract... Okay, they have to pay $1 billion. Think about it from Elon's perspective. He gets to unload $8 billion worth of stock that didn't really cost him anything without the people knowing that he's dumping the stock in the guise of looking like a good guy. Look at this joker. Talk about king of buying the dips, Michael Saylor. Looking like a good guy to everyone, I might list all my channels below. I never did that before. I have a lot of channels on a lot of topics. So he looks like a good guy for these stupid people, the millennials and younger, okay? Uh, you know, he looks like a good guy and he's doing it for an altruistic reason, a good reason, free speech for everybody. Wouldn't have been free speech anyway, okay? But, but, he unloads $8 billion at the top. Honestly, who cares if they sue him for $1 billion? He still got $7 billion that he couldn't get his hands on without there being like a run on the stock because if Elon says he's selling, it doesn't matter if he's got a hair transplant, a kidney transplant, whatever he needs the money for, it don't matter. You know, nobody's seen this. It's like he snookered all of you. He fooled all of you. Just like this guy, Michael Saylor. Michael Saylor's been buying a dip, buying a dip, buying a dip, buying a dip. He might be right. But the market can be irrational longer than he can be liquid. He's in trouble. Wall Street's in trouble. The crypto contagion. This guy, okay, made fun or made a mockery of all of us. And they keep playing down Mt. Gox selling next month. Look, we tanked from 30,000 to whatever we went down to 19,000 because there were 80,000 Bitcoins sold by Terra Luna. All right? There's 139,000 Bitcoin about to be released next month. 
but it's no big deal. It's not going to hurt the price of Bitcoin. You don't think those people are going to want to sell? That's twice the amount of the Luna debacle, okay? Think about it. So is the bear market over? Is 20000 a good price to buy? Are you out of your mind? Learn to short. Learn to short and you can get rich in crypto. I never really liked Elon Musk personally. I just don't know what it is about him. There's something so fake. He's the worst public speaker I've ever seen, unless that's just an affect to make you relate to him. him. Make, because most people can't public speak, so he speaks like an idiot and stammers and stumber, stumbles all over his words. Okay? Oh, he's the richest man in the world, so does that mean that he's what, a, a god? A deity? No. He is the epitome of Wall Street and the debauchery and and the scumbag things that have been done to the retail investor all the time. He never told you until long after he bought his Bitcoin and was situated comfortable and then they let all of you sneak in there and snooker in. And then when the shit's going bad, he's selling it to you. He's selling it to you. He's smiling and he's tweeting Bitcoin to the moon and all of this. You've been had. You've been had by a man with a hair weave and a toy car. Tell me what you think of this in the comments. I've been talking about this for a long time. I told you here, okay, two months ago about Elon Musk, okay? You will lose everything and have nothing. And I tell you, if you subscribe to my news channel... This is the news that doesn't suck. Okay, and I've been waiting from eight months ago for this guy to say the truth when he was going to sell. Did he ever come out and tell us? No. Eight months ago, I warned you about Mt. Gox. They're still not telling you the truth. It's coming next month. People know for eight years. Okay, so we don't know, is it priced in and the price is going to explode once Mt. Gox is released, which I doubt, or they're going to flood the market and tank everything, and we're going to get a chance to buy really cheap Bitcoin. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Today, I will list all, I will list all of my YouTube channels below the video in the description box. Click each link, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I got topics on everything. You want to know about magic? You want some real talk unboxing? I even unbox $1,000 pussy on that channel. I unbox my garbage. I unbox everything, okay? Crypto, well, what is this? Crypto Conspiracy Network? Oh, they don't like that channel. I talk a lot about AI and everything. I'm going to link all this below, okay? Welcome to my world. Tell me in the comments. Say something. You know, I, I'm sitting here talking to my computer, okay? A fucking crypto millionaire talking to my computer, trading in front of you and everything else, and I have no way to know if you're enjoying this. I have no way to know if you like my style or my content. I, tell me what you think of the video in the comments. Uh, you don't have to tell me oh, Oracle's great, Oracle. You know, I don't want to hear that. Tell me about my videos. I'm starting to think maybe, just maybe, I suck. What would the world come to the day that the Oracle sucked? Oh, my God. Never happened. The one, the only, the legendary, the Oracle. Have a good day.